another Tuesday and another time to update to measure a little bit so uh, the week was going pretty well I was I was having a little bit of uh, trouble to keep on track uh, I believe two or three days ago when I had a little bit of vanilla cake which was kind of left over from Christmas but because I was able to log it in uh, I, I had to just balance it out and uh, let's say instead of extra potatoes or rice I didn't have any, I had mostly like a meat and uh, that cake so uh, let's let's check what uh, how is the weight going anyway first So weight-wise, uh, I'm 88.2, so it's another 0.8 kg uh, down. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, uh, it's it's almost around kg now. The the weight loss will basically slow down because uh, usually early when you get on your diet early on, you will experience you might experience like two, three, four kg straight away because you're going to lose plenty of water weight. Uh, aka glycogen from the muscles and just generally it's a lot of water weight it's not possible to lose um, three four kgs of fat a week unless you're going for nice surgery and uh, quick fix and this is definitely what it's not about perfect so next one I'm going to measure my waist perfect so let's find out what is the waist measurement And it is pretty much 80. It is pretty much 88.5, uh, 89. So I lost roughly six centimeters of the waist, just pretty much two and a half, roughly two and a half inches, two two and a half inches. Which is not bad for, I believe, three weeks in. One of the questions I got uh, in the last week is like, how often should you measure? Ideally, you would be measuring only once a week, uh, and pretty much it would be the same time. Uh, usually, what I would recommend is first thing in the morning after you go to bathroom, and that's pretty much that's pretty consistent because during the day it varies. You might drink a little bit more water. You might drink uh, certain different things, few teas. You can have big food. It's not really consistent, but usually the first thing in the morning you haven't eaten anything, so your weight is pretty much going to be what it's going to be. Saying that, it might still fluctuate kind of kg up and down based on the water levels, based on different things. So I wouldn't really obsess about if if you are on the right track, you are losing plenty of weight, plenty of inches, centimeters, and then suddenly your weight is half kg up, even if you are doing everything right, that happens, that's life. Sometimes it's going a little bit up and down. The most important is kind of long, uh, long-term trend. The last week I was able to lose 2.3 kgs. This week it was 0.8. It's still pretty good trend. Uh, I'm hoping next week we're going to see another kg down and another few centimeters from the waist. And So it's three o'clock now and I still actually haven't had proper meal. I had to make a choice. We had extra vanilla cake or I had my chicken with some peas and rice. I choose to eat freaking cake with coffee rather than a proper meal. So the energy was a little bit on the lowish side, but hey, that's the choices you need to make. It's either or not a little bit extra. So I'm, I just need to make sure that I hit my protein intake today, which is going to be quite up. So 
instead of eating my normal little bit of bread, potato, and these kind of things, I need to make sure that I put there high protein foods, which are pretty much chicken, low fat cheese, maybe some egg whites. We'll see what I need to do to hit my daily micros. So be good and talk to you soon, guys. <laughs>